Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. Today we begin our final week in the book of James. We begin with the first or with the, the beginning of the fifth chapter of the book of James. Today we look at making a choice. On which side are you on? Let's listen to the passage and find out what those sides are. Pay attention, you wealthy people. Weep and moan over the miseries coming upon you. Your riches have rotted. Moths have destroyed your clothing. Your gold and silver have rusted, and their rust will be evidence against you. If you eat your flesh like fire, consider the treasure you have hoarded in the last days. Listen, hear the cries of the wages of your field hand. These are the wages you stole from those who harvested your fields. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of heavenly forces. You have lived a self-satisfying life on this earth, a life of luxury. You have stuffed your hearts in preparation for the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous one who doesn't oppose you. This is a passage that you probably either like or you can't stand. We get funny when we talk about money in the church, but the reality is that Jesus mentioned money directly more than Jesus talked about heaven. It's because even 2,000 plus years ago, money had a type of control over us that isn't healthy. And then we have a word for that, greed, right? Well, here, James is basically saying, shame on you. Those of you who are wealthy and have chosen to do nothing with that wealth except build yourself up, flatter yourself, indulge yourself. All of that, James tells us, is going to be like rust. It's going to just be nothing that really matters. And then comes a big thing. It says, listen. Listen to the wages of the laborers in the field. They are crying out because you, the wealthy, have robbed them. You have taken from them the joy of life that you have. You have taken from them the ability to be self-sustaining. You have made them be dependent upon you. Shame. So the choice, then, that we must make is will we be part of the greedy wealthy? Or will we be on the side of the poor and the needy? Like I said, you're either angry or you're comforted by these words. James makes it clear that God is on the side of the needy and the poor the workers who have been abused, those whose wages have been intentionally made small. God is with them. The wealthy, they'll get their pleasure now, and then there won't be anything left for them. Now, I suppose in our world today, the first thing someone said is, but I have money and I do great things with it. Thumbs up to you. Awesome. I'm glad of that. But does your wealth come because you haven't treated others fairly? And then you choose to say, well, it's my money and I get to do with it whatever I want. And I will give here and here and here. Those people don't deserve it. Those people don't deserve it. And those people don't deserve it. I think the model here is, is pay people fairly to begin with. And then you don't have to determine who's worthy or not worthy. Now, I know that all of us aren't wage owners, and we might, or I mean, not all of us are business owners, and we might still be wealthy from other means. But the point is, is are we being greedy with it, or are we distributing it to those who deserve it most, so that all of us together can be in a joy 
build community, a community that cares for one another, a community where some don't have access to basic needs and others have an abundance of those very things. That's the choice for us to make and to pray about today. So let's pray. Thank you, God, for being present with us. Help us to hear the challenge in your word. Help us to examine our lives to see if we are people of generosity or people of greed. Help us to make a choice to be on your side, the side that will always lift up those in need, the poor and the sick. Come, Lord Jesus, and fill us with your spirit so we can be the people that you created us to be. Amen. Friends, you are loved, you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. And have an awesome day.